please rise for the national anthem. I think it takes an incredible amount of courage to audition for American Idol. Talk about putting yourself on the line. Every year I am blown away by the people who stand before us, hoping we'll recognize their star quality and give them that golden ticket to Hollywood. With each city comes a flood of talent, a ton of emotion, and admittedly, a few contestants who maybe you should think about other ways of making a living. Well, as the saying goes, you have to kiss a lot of frogs to find your prince. Witness the frog pond. American Idol style. I predict that the judges will say, you have a really good heart. Hi, Simon. Hi, Paula, how are good you? Good name. Actually, I don't, you know, it's sad because I might just already hate you oh. because your name's Simon. Oh, I really don't <laughs> think you should. I mean, Simon is a really beautiful English name and... What does Simon mean? Simon means the one who listens. Oh, <laughs> God. Ooh. Well, let me ask you a question, Simon, uh, if you don't mind me asking. Why are you here? I am here because I want to share the song I wrote, and it's a song from the heart. And it's about the connectedness of everybody and compassion and tolerance. When I listen to my heart, my heart sings to me. We are all connected in one family tree. When I look into your eyes, I can clearly see I'm a part of you and you a part of me. All right. <laughs> Simon. Someone who understands compassion. <laughs> I find it odd <laughs> that you can come in here and sing to us. But that was painful. I mean, there was, you haven't got a voice. The song was terrible. Everything was wrong. I'm puzzled. Hey, Anthony, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Well, I'm doing fine, thanks. Great. So, Anthony, why do you think you should be the next American Idol? Uh, tough question. Well, I don't think that I should be. It's just that I would like to be. Worry, why do I let myself worry? In the world that I do, oh, crazy. Okay. Oh, uh, Paula. I'm speechless. I, I really, I, I don't even know, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> Thank you. Is that a good thing? 
<laughs> I, 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 I think not. <laughs> I think you're amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Amazingly dreadful. No, oh, really. Really? Uh, seriously. I mean, almost, I don't think another human being on the planet will ever sing like you. I think you are a one-off. There's only one of you. Thank God. <laughs> oh, you are too, too kind. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm confused. Simon, he's all, you're absolutely dreadful. Um, thank God there's only one of you. <laughs> what I said was, thank you guys for the opportunity, and I really should have told Simon to bite my What? No, look what you've done to me. <laughs> now it's rubbed off, now what am I gonna do? Welcome to American Idol, search for a superstar. Ah, hi! Ah! I'll get you, my pretty! Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Uh, um. <laughs> sorry. Jeremy, do you notice something? Uh, well, now I do that I open my eyes, they left. Okay. What's your name? Bobby May. How old are you, Bobby? 22. Seriously? Yes. And you work as a psychic? Yes, I am a psychic. Are you through or not? I'm through, I'm gonna go to Hollywood. Okay. All oh. the way to Hollywood. Hollywood. All the way to Hollywood. Mm. All right. I'm going. Oh, well, right. you're not a very good psychic. Oh. <laughs> I said that I'll make it in the top ten. Oh. You know what that was, the top ten seats. Out the front row watching. In front of the TV at home. I'm here, I'm here to sing. Well, you did, and you didn't do it very well. Oh, why is that? You didn't sing a note in tune. Mm. Bobby, I think you've ended two careers at once. This is the first time I've seen that. She was number 10 in her seat, but so she said 10. 10. She saw 10, so 10 was her seat. That's all it was. I'm feeling excited. I'm keeping it calm. I'm not trying to get caught up in the height. Just relaxing, cool, calm, collected. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Simon? Where do you start? It was so bizarrely dreadful. Oh. Really? Is that a yes or no? No. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sing another song. No. No, no. We have time. No. And. Oh, I forgot the part, I'm sorry. And, or above. Can I start over, please? I like to think that finding the next American Idol is like the old saying, it's like finding a diamond in the rough. Now, of course, we have to find that one perfect diamond. And believe me, there is plenty of rough. I'm going to um, Harvard for graduate school, finishing it up. So that's why I flew in from Cambridge just to be here. I'm so serious about this. And you are so smart. So smart. I work really, really hard. Whoa, when to be low, where his head used to lay. I know you've got some sweet memories, but like the window. You ain't got nothing to say. I can't stand the rain. Okay, I can't stand this anymore. Oh. All right, Simon, what do you think? Come on. Please, please, please. Please, please tell her what you think, Simon. Be honest please, with please her. Please, please what? Please let me go. You are not serious. Fuklink. You are one of the worst singers I've ever heard in my life. And I'm not exaggerating. That went beyond horrific. And for such a smart girl, that was a nightmare. You obviously heard in your own head different than what we heard. Well, how about a different planet? It's a no from us. Thank you. 
Paula? I'm speechless. It's a no. Thanks, Thank for, thanks for coming out. It's definitely no. no it, we're not going to change our minds. Definitely no. Yeah, it's still no. Oh, now, still no. Still, it's still no. Hang on, hang on. What, what, what's the problem? I know I can really sing real well. My family has told me I can sing. I really sound like Brian B. Knight. What? My family has told my family has told me that that I, that I can sing like Brian B. Knight. Well, do you know any Brian McKnight songs? First, first time I looked into your eyes, and I saw heaven, oh, heaven in your eyes. And everything I did before that wasn't worth my while. It should have been you, you all the time. <laughs> okay, nothing like Brian at night. We'll say goodbye and thank it's you. It's still no. You're going to school for pharmacy? Yeah. Good yeah. for you. Good for you. Well, yeah. thank you for coming down. I may need some medication after this. All right. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Dude, you shouldn't ever be singing. It's not for you, man. That was horrific, man. Come on. What are you? Next. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think you've been reincarnated. <laughs> no, oh, come on. I, I do. I think you've been reincarnated. Oh, is that right? The well, that sounds like a hit. I am strong. Jesse. Hey, Leroy, what's up? Candy! <laughs> it's this way, right here, baby. Yeah, come on up. Where you going, dog? Oh, no, Jesse. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm a musician, you feel me? You're but musician. see, I got to tag, get y'all crunk so y'all can feel me. Yo, man, but we need to get crunk right like there. this. Right there. Look, look, see. Uh, White teeth. Why you got your crunk. Put your crunk here. Look at that. nigga that hit that crunk. Oh, those aren't your teeth. Oh, he got his crunk One, though. Two, three, go ahead. Keep digging. When a particularly bad contestant is finished singing, it's time for Simon, Randy, and I to deliver the bad news. I'm just the American Idol. I don't care what they say. I am fabulous. I'm sexy. I'm going to get it. I mean, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Being a performer, being a pop star, is that your calling? I believe it is. I believe that, uh, that singing is my my life, and I can't imagine myself doing anything else I've been saying. Are there any performers in your family, anybody that, that's in music? Tony Braxton. Tony Braxton yeah. is in the family. What do you sing for us today, Derek? <laughs> How could an angel break my heart? Love it. How could an angel break my heart? Why didn't she catch my falling star? I wish I didn't wish so hard. Maybe I wish to love her, but I couldn't hurt to break my heart. Oh, heart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my suffering, dying is crying. <laughs> I'm trying to hurt. OK, great. Blank faces. <laughs> wow, okay, that was a bad one. I guess, do I sing another song or?
Um, I think that's probably the weirdest voice I've ever heard in my life. Definitely. I mean, seriously. I, I can honestly say I've never heard anything like that for as long as I've been doing this show. You sound like a different language. Yeah, well, I couldn't understand. You know, I couldn't understand a word, or, really. A word you were wow. saying. Just... I would check my hearing if I were you, because... <laughs> How do you think you did? I like my voice. I think that, I mean, I don't want to sound like anybody else. Well, you're, you're up on that. Yeah. Dude, I mean, nothing about singing do you have going on. You can't do any of it. Okay. How do I get out of here? <laughs> it's a no. He took that well. I'm a survivor, and nothing affects me. I'm still confident, and I'm still sexy. All right, great. Oh, Miss Paula, I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be singing English, and I'm going to be singing Spanish. I'm bilingual, yes. Well, and I don't know what race you are. Um, and Simon, I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be doing it, and I'm going to be doing it because um, I'm going to be representing you. Um, uh, Randy, you don't even matter. I mean, what have you done? You haven't even been in the industry. What if you produced a couple of songs with Tony Braxton and Mariah Carey? Wow. Um, and Sugar Ray, whatever your name is, uh, One Hit Wonder. Have you ever sang a note? Do you know what that is? I don't think you do. But guess what? My album is going to be multi-platinum. Not just one like you, but many of them. And Paula, not just three, but actually eight. So anyway, that's going to be my future. And you just wish it could be as fabulous as me. Sarah Santiago. Yes, that's me. Welcome. Thank you. What are you going to sing? And um, That's the Way It Is by Celine Dion. Off you go. Okay, I can yeah. read, huh? Go ahead. <clears throat> I can read your mind and I know your story. I see what you're going through, yeah. Can I start over, please? I'm just really nervous. I, Sarah, I've got to be honest with you. I don't think there's any point. Yeah. I can do this. I know I can. No, you can't. You have one of the worst voices I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> so you're terrible. You sing like a ghost or something. Mind and I know your story. No, no, no. I see. No, no. Sarah, it's honestly abysmal. As, as if a ghost could sing. It's like, what? Well, it sounds scary, your voice. It's so weird. Just give me another chance. I'm just really nervous. But no, Sarah, I don't think it's your nerves which it's is the problem. Voice. <laughs> it is my nerves. I know it is. Seriously, Simon, I know I can do this. Please just give me another chance. It was appalling. It's making me scared. It's thundering and lightning while you're singing. I'm like, whoa. I don't, I make, what makes me nervous is that <clears throat> How could you sing? I your mind <laughs> and I know your story. I see what you're going through, yeah. It's an uphill climb and I'm it feeling is. so it's such a Sarah, it's such an uphill climb. I'm welcome to you, yeah. So don't surrender. <laughs> Cause you can win in this thing called a love. Sarah, 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 it's Sarah getting, stop. Sarah, it's getting worse. Oh my god. What do you want to hear? A solid note? I know I'm I'm nerving out. <clears throat> I can read your sorry, that was not good. I can read your mind and I know your story. I see what you go and through. Yeah. It's an uphill climb, and I'm feeling Sarah, so Sarah, I'm actually getting scared now. I, I've got it. I'm nervous. To you, yeah. Sarah, I'm, I am now getting Don't scared. It's lightning, thundering. I'm breaking out in shingles. You can win. What sounds wrong with that? Everything. Yes or no? No. Paula? No. Never. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna drop some ill rhymes on them, and they're gonna love it. Christopher Scott Knoll. That's right, sir. Right, and you're a nanny. I am a nanny. I uh, tend after two young girls. I love them with all my heart. I call them my kids, even though... They're like your family. They're like my family. But you'd leave them behind if you did well in this? Uh, in a heartbeat. <laughs> right, right, okay. yeah. And what are you gonna sing, Christopher? I'm gonna sing some original rap songs for you about y'all. Great, off you go. All right, we ready? Yeah. <clears throat> 
stop looking cause y'all can't find a better man. Damn San Fran, I'm the man with the better plan. Oof, where my dog at? Oof, Randy Jackson, dropping facts, son. Dropping weight, change the waist on his slack, son. What about the one with the wise crack, son? Simon Cowell, S dot Cowell. Spell it out and yes, it spells scowl. Always on the prowl, don't make him growl. But recognize that you wise like the owl. Ooh, yeah, I gotta thank God and Jesus. I gotta thank Ganesha. Oh my gosh, look, it's TV's Moesha. <laughs> yo, yo, Q, you know your girl be a dandy. Better known as Brandy and she be some eye candy. Ooh, <laughs> you, we pull her at Dushi. So hot, yo, yo, she's so cushy. So fine, I'm inclined to drool. Wanna sip wine and recline by the pool? Not tonight, Chris, I got a headache. Take a mind all, girl, you looking at the the American Idol. Uh. That was yes, cool. yes. That was really good. Entertaining. That was thank really you. entertaining. Thank you, thank you. Randy, yes or no? Um, 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 um. Remember? Dropping facts, son. Dropping yeah, weight, oh, change yeah, your waist yeah. on his slack, Dropping son. science, dropping yeah, knowledge. Dropping si like a bomb. Oh, I'm gonna have to say no. <laughs> Brandy. I'm going to say... <laughs> Randy said no? Y'all are rude. Look at these two, rude on the left. Hola. <laughs> I, you know what? I think he's been the most original I've, we've seen today. So I'm gonna say yes. God what? bless you, Paula. The girls have kept their nanny. It's a no. All right, y'all. Man, <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> We like you, but you're not right. You, there's the most original thing we saw all day, but it was great and I was feeling it, but. Whatever. <laughs> crazy, crazy for feeling so lonely. I'm crazy, crazy for feeling so blue. I knew you loved me as long as you wanted. Then someday you, you'd leave me for somebody new. I knew. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Danny. It's not you. I'm sorry, Danny. Oh. 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 All right, Danny. What do you think went wrong? What do you think happened today? My nerves. Nerves got the best of you. My nerves right. got the best of me. Let's wrap this up. Randy, yes or no? Uh, no. Paula? Not good enough. I'm sorry, Danny. Yeah, uh, it's just we look. We're looking for the best um, singer out there. I understand. Great talent. I'm sorry, Danny. Yeah. But, thank but you're you. brave and thank bold. You. Yeah. you like that. Yes, nice yes. to meet you. I had a hard to concentrate with two people and not wanting to actually give somebody a moment to calm down, chill down, and actually sing, perform for y'all because I could see the smirks on your face and laugh on your face. I don't know if it was me, the performance before me, like you said, but I would love a public apology on national television. Danny, I have to say sorry. Sorry that you came into the audition room and sang out of tune. Sorry that you even entered American Idol. I had to sit through it. Therefore, I'm sorry. I don't think you're particularly right for the American Idol contest. So, to know from you, oh, Simon? Oh, God, yes. Nice Thank to you. meet you. <laughs> if your parents could see you now, so it's a no. It's a no. It's a no. Thank you. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't really take this whole camera thing. I just don't see. Simon's a. <laughs> he is a. <laughs> he didn't. He has no consideration for anyone else but himself. He tells me I do very, very well. You need to move to New York. You have a beautiful voice. Okay, so what's wrong? He said, you could possibly, you could be, if I could throw something at you, I'm sure you can be the best person in here doing it. I got all these compliments, but you're not right for the show. Uh, I respect your opinion. Hey, that's your job. Do your thing. Do your thing. But I guarantee you, when you see me, you will be asking me to be on your show. Jonathan Ray. 18 years yes. of age from Conroe, Texas. Yes, from Conroe. So I'm not from Houston, so <laughs> don't worry. Mountain. And so what's up? <laughs> I've got to go. Dude. I got to go. I'm out.
Jonathan, <laughs> I think we're going to have to cancel this competition. Really? I'm being serious. This Nothing. isn't working. Yeah, it's good. Good? It's terrible. Are you serious? Like anything? What? Anything good? Nothing you good. Another song? You think I could sing uh, another song? There's not a song in the world you could sing. Really? Well, how's <laughs> that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> they gave me good feedback. They told me that um, I'm 16 and that, wow, I have a voice like that. You know, when you first sing, you're very good. And then you hit those upper notes and it all falls apart. Simon, actually, that's my man right there. <laughs> he, told, he told me um, that I'm 16 and that I have an incredible voice. And he's like, out of everybody here, he's like, you have the most talent. You have the potential, but you need a lot of work. Simon said that uh, I'm above everybody. A lot of work. Simon himself said she has the most talent than anyone who's here. For me, I don't think you're ready at all for this competition yet. They said that uh, I have the most talent. And then you hit those upper notes, and it all falls apart. But if I do have the most talent, then why am I not here? She's only 16. She has just as much talent as any one of those other people that have walked out of here today. Hello, Edgar. Hi, hi. What's Come up, in. man? Come in. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Never been better. Really? <laughs> yeah. You think you're the next American Idol? I sort of know so. Sort you already of. know this. this yeah, is good. yeah. I had this dream ever since I was, before I was born. Yeah. You had a dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what and did the dream right say? Here. I feel like I'm still dreaming. I, I don't know. Standing right here in front of like, you guys just cool. How old yeah. are you? I'm 24. 24. And I yeah. hear you do impressions. Yeah. Yes, I do. What's your best one? Al Pacino. Quick, do an Al Pacino. Really? Well, let me tell you something, okay? I hired the best lawyer in Miami, okay? Wow, shut your eyes there and it's Al. Wow, wow. No! Go ahead, I just get too into it. I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. I got one word for you, one yeah. phrase. Don't sing ever anymore. Don't. Stop singing, please. Yeah. Singing's really? not for you. Yeah, it's really? Yeah. I don't know. Really? I'll have to. I'm, I'm, I apologize, but I'll have to disagree with you because. <laughs> okay. I know you're right up here. The caliber of you guys is up here, and I'm over here. No. Nah. But um, singing is my thing. Definitely my thing. Yeah. Let's it, see what Paula thinks. Paula, what do you what do you think about this? Edgar, I've never seen so much commitment from a contestant. You totally committed, and I am. I, I love am. You I actually am. I you're actually very am. committed. I actually am. I think Carl so, might have something to say. Carl, definitely. I want to hear from him. I, you know what? I think he's been my inspiration to this. Oh, actually. definitely. Totally understand. No, no, totally, definitely. totally. Right. You are one of the worst singers I've ever heard in really? my life. Do you still like me? I still like you. Why? Definitely. Because that's what I like about you, Simon. That's why I like you so much. Because all this adds up to you. Okay, Edgar. Okay, we'll okay. call it a day. But thank you very much thank, indeed. Thank no, you thank so you, much. Thank Thanks you. for coming, Edgar. Thank you. Thanks, Edgar. Thank you. Guys. Whoa, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Oh. Simon. <laughs> Randy. <laughs> um. No. This competition's turning into a joke. What's going on, Houston? Oh, uh, Houston, are you there? No, Houston, we have a problem. A serious problem, dude. Is there anything I could improve on or anything? Or... Yes, don't sing again. Oh. Thank you. Oh. I think I am the next American Idol, not necessarily because of my voice, but because of my presence. I can dance, I'll just go out there and do my thing and, you know, give it my best shot. <laughs> All right. Woo. Y'all want me to sing some more or not? Uh, yeah. No, I think that was probably uh, more than enough. That was good. Mallory, that was 1.5 out of 10 at most. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? I mean, if I was to say you were mediocre, it would be the biggest compliment you've ever been paid. <laughs> I beg to differ. I've been paid no, much serious. better No, I'm being serious. Well, you know what? Let's see what Paula thinks. Paula, what do you think? Uh, Mallory, I, I think that was terrible. Honest to God, terrible. And it was so lackluster. You relied on shaking your booty 
to try to make that a good performance. And it, it is a, a singing competition. You can't sing at all. Really? You are a terrible, terrible singer. I was in the audition room. I did something like that, you know? And I mean, hey, guys at parties like it, you know? I don't know what's up with those three. What's your name? Charm. Charm? Yeah. Hey, this is Charm. What's up, you guys? Hey, Charm. So uh, give me a little background on the color choices for your hair. It, it represents the perseverance within myself and the undying love for life and um, music and all my artistic goals. You said it. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. <laughs> All right, Randy. Wow, you had a bunch of voices. You were doing kind of a ventriloquist thing. <laughs> Eric, I mean, well, Randy was absolutely right. I mean, if you could imagine Linda Blair and the Exorcist <laughs> singing at the point when she's doing all that on the bed. All right. That's no, seriously, that's what she'd sound like. Because there were six of you in there. You are like a one man band. Oh, thank you. No, it's not a compliment. <laughs> oh. We're looking for a solo artist, not a group. Uh, thank you. Thanks for coming down, though. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. you. See you, guys. God bless you, too. To say something really derogatory like that, that was so not cool. And Randy, I mean, honestly, I never really liked him. Look, I think the reality is I've heard better people sing outside subway stations. OK, that's fine. But I worked really, really hard, and I don't well, think... Well, so are they. Okay, that's fine. But did they stand outside in the cold for oh, If they're outside the subway station, yes. Listen, Nate, it just was terrible, dude. Terrible. Terrible. You're not really cut out to be a singer, I don't think. Honey, you sang off Keith almost the entire song. You don't hear that? You don't hear that? I mean, the, I, I mean, because it's interesting to me at these auditions, I actually believe he doesn't think that he sang. Well, not only that, you know, this thing about standing outside in the cold. Well, I'll go and stand outside in the snow for five days, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to be a star because that I come inside. Make you, a singer. you know, it, does it make you a singer? Well, he's I can not. Sing I mean, he's not trying. Can to you? Because I haven't heard you sing anything yet. Yeah, but he's not. I'm he's not auditioning. Okay, well, you don't have to me. bring people down. That's not something that you have to do. Well, then don't All you have to do was say that I didn't get in. All you did not have to say that I was horrible. Because personally, I don't think that any of you were that great. But you were horrible. Okay, and so are you. What? You're horrible. So are you. <laughs> That's fine. We've got something in common. Uh, we're not okay. singing, though, Nate. Um, Obviously. You, you didn't sing remotely near the next American Idol that we would pick. Nate, you're tone deaf. You couldn't even hear those notes. You didn't even know what those notes are. You could sing the song 15 times, being in the hot sun, you still wouldn't get it right. We've been sitting here well, okay, all day. Just, okay, I don't want to hear anything else from you. Because, first of all, you know, I appreciate like you telling me in a nice way. That's fine. You guys really don't have to attack people. That's not what this is here for. What you guys are trying to do is make people cry, okay? You're fat. Ooh. You're an Ooh. You're polite. That's all I have to say. I'm you, gone. Bye, you... I'm spent. <laughs> I think you took it quite well. <laughs> OK. <laughs> now each of us has our own style. But of course, I am the harshest of the judges. If I've told Simon once, I said it a thousand times. You have got to be tougher on these contestants. That was appalling with a capital A. Terrible. From start, middle, and finish. I, I don't agree with that. I mean, it may not be my best, but Okay. You have wasted my time. You have wasted your own time. You've wasted everyone's time. Thank you so much for coming down, but I, I'm afraid it's a no. It's a no. It's a never. <laughs> All right. Hi. How are you? How are you? Great. So your name is? Jessica Pontius. Tell me something about yourself, Jessica. Um, I love to shop, love to tan, and I want to be your next <laughs> American <laughs> Idol. Find me. Thank you, Jessica. Yeah. That was... <laughs> Honestly, excruciatingly awful. Really. Singing's really not. It's, Honestly, it's, awful. It, it, it's not your thing. I can sing a different song. Uh, Jessica, no, never again. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh. I think you would be great with voice. Have you ever heard of voiceover work? Yeah. 
You make like, a ton of money doing cartoons, it. Cartoons, yeah, stuff, yeah, animation. What doing sort voices. of cartoon? <laughs> doing voices. Like what? Like for rugrats. Voices for rugrats or, or dogs or so whatever. So Jessica at 16 is going to walk out of here, and <laughs> the advice you've given her is that you can do a voiceover for a rat. Charming. Charming. I could he doesn't know. Never Listen, mind. I mean, great advice. Yeah. Do you I'm know how hard Jessica. it is to get an agent and get commercials for that? It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Do you know how hard it is to get a rat <laughs> Thank job? you, Jessica. Thank you. <laughs> you actually carry that Jessica's off. Jessica's still walking. She's Jessica's still, still carrying. walking. <laughs> Don't you know how difficult it is to get a, an agent to do rat voices? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to be a rat? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Simon, what do you think? Oh, wonderful. I bet you he c can do Kermit the Frog very well, because you, you have that kind of, like, nasal tone. So, Randall, I, I, I don't want to be rude, but did you turn up at this audition today <laughs> I, to be I'm told by Paula Abdul, you can, well, you keep you asking can do me like Kermit what? the Frog? Shut up! I'm just reinforcing your point. Yes. Shut up! Right. I'm just reinforcing the point. Look, anything, anything, anything you want. Yeah, Sing anything. whatever song Christi in the world you Christina. want now. Oh! I'm gonna have a break. See ya. <laughs> of the many contestants we see, some take our critiques well, and then they're the ones that don't. When someone decides to put the judges on trial for rejecting them, some intense and often astonishing arguments can break out. We're always a bit shocked when this happens, but it's just another part of what makes American Idol such a unique phenomenon. I think I have a very unique vocal style. It's like pop rock meets Broadway meets jazz and R&B. It's a very unique combination of all the three. At least that's how I would describe it. I'm going to walk in like I'm confident. You know, head up high, strutting my stuff. Not too much strut, though, because that looks tacky. I want this so bad, there's no way that I'm not going to get it. Right and leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they always say in theater. Hello, Mary. Hello. Hello. Very good. So am I. Step How are you up doing? To the T right there. Right on, okay. Your name is? Mary Roach. However, if I do make it to Hollywood, I'm going to change my last name to Gilbo because it has more star quality. Mary Gilbo. That's right. G U I L B E A U X. Okay. What do you do? Well, I plan on going to cosmetology school at the end of the month. Unless I make it to Hollywood, then I'm going to cancel my plans because I would much rather have a singing career than a hairstyling career, even though I very much love hair, makeup, and fashion as well. And why are you here? I'm here because I want to be the next American Idol, and I want to make it to Hollywood, and it's been my all-time dream for a long time to become a big, famous singer and performer. And this is just one way to do it if I make it. All right, off you go. Something I can't contain. Thank you. How do you think he did? Not too shabby. Marks out of ten? Like, out of a one to ten scale, how do you think I think I did? Eight? All right, Mary. Honestly, one of the worst I've ever heard in my life. The worst? Yeah, honestly. Are you just saying that to get on my nerves, or are you totally serious? <laughs> because something tells me that I think you're saying it to annoy me. But I, what made you audition for this competition? All my friends told me that I was an awesome singer. What? Mary, you can't sing a note. I mean, not only can you not sing a note in tune, you have one of the, the, the weirdest voices I've ever heard in my life. Well, weirdness is originality, too. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good point. Well, you know, at least I'm not going to walk out of here crying like some people do. No, I don't want you to, I'm Mary. I'm going to walk I out mean... here being like, hey, whatever. Yes. Yeah. Would you like me to sing like myself? I have a ton of different voices. Right. Well, what were those? You don't want to hear them. You have a lot of voices, huh? Your In head? your head. <laughs> In your head? Are they talking all the time? Yeah, I think so. What, what are, are they, they saying say? now? They're saying... 
I didn't know the judges on American Idol would actually think I was terrible. They're also saying Mark McGrath is a hottie. They're also saying. It's a good judge. Um. All y'all look different in person. I pictured you to be bigger. I. You're prettier than I thought you were. You look thinner than I thought you were. The soundtrack to this section, I think, should be <laughs> violin music. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Mary, um, I think we're just going to say no and, and wish you lots of luck at beauty school. Yeah, definitely. You seriously think I'm one of the worst singers you've ever heard? I actually do, Mary, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Thank I you, really Mary. thought I was going to make it to Hollywood, and I can't believe the outcome, but whatever. Hang in there, honey. It's just Thank one you. show. Thanks, Mary. Thank you so much. All my friends have told me that I had an amazing voice. Random people I don't know have told me that I can really sing. So all that would tell me that they're wrong. But still, the fact that they said that, that doesn't make me want to pursue any kind of singing career, not unless I'm going to be a lead singer in a rock band. Now, I want to say a big to Simon and Randy and Martin McGrath, even though he's a hottie. I won't deny that. Although, I'm not going to say Paula because at least she was nice and at least she was sweet. She's such a sweetheart. And I can't say anything bad about her. Well, listen, sweetheart, <laughs> I don't really care about your opinion. I really could care less because I'm 22 years old and I'm beautiful and I can sing. So I really don't care what you think. Okay. And I'm going to be a star. And you've ever watched those shows, VH1, Behind the Music, mm -hmm. how they got passed up, Madonna, Mariah Carey, all of them? Well, that's me, sweetheart. So you have my number, and if you change your mind, give me a call. Ciao. How are you? I'm all good. Well, that was nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's up, man? What's going What's down? Not much. I'm just okay. ready to get so this out of your name with. is? What's up? Your name is? Marquise McCray. Are you excited? <laughs> no. No. My chances are one in four. I don't know how exciting that, that is, you know. Coming one in four, that's not good. So I'm just gonna come and audition. Hang on a minute. If, if the state lottery here offered a prize of $10 million and you had a one in four chance of winning $10 million, would you buy a lottery ticket? Nah. You wouldn't. That's oh. not really my style, man. Oh my God. Marcus, why on earth are you here? To audition. But you don't think you're gonna get through? I just wanna see what can happen. I, think I don't care if I can get through it. I, I don't need to listen to you. I think yeah, you're wasting time. To hear. You don't believe you you're can do it, You're not excited. Do you even want this? Yeah, I do. Why? Just to open more doors for me. I mean, I, I want to take it and go somewhere else with it, you know? <laughs> I, I like... Marquise, like I, think you should, I think you should I think you should take yourself somewhere else. Oh, I should? Yeah. 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 I'm mm. going to say no already. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want this, do you? Yeah. Oh, I don't? No. But nice you don't to meet you. It. You don't care? It's, I'm neutral about it. You're, you have Do no... I, can I give you an audition? No. 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 Oh, no. Come on, dog. Come no. on. Come, Marquise, on come on, man. Marquise, Keep it real, baby. Keep it real. Hey, why are you disrespecting them? Why not? Why not? Why not? You're wasting our time now, and you're wasting the people's time out there, and now I'm getting mad, so and what? I don't get mad very often. Security. My time was wasted. Security. Security. Whoa. Time for you to go, dog. Get out. You're wasting our time. All right. How old are you? You look like 40-something. I do? Yeah, you look old. I just had to know. I mean, because your face, you know, you look old. You think? Yeah, I think you look Probably old. Probably too much sun, huh? Thank you so much, Victor. Uh, should we just do this together, you guys, uh, on the count, on the of, count three? of three? One, One two, two, three. three. No. no. Victor, you are a terrible singer. You are a terrible dancer. You have no charisma. Terrible. I mean, everything. No can... charisma? No. I've seen some of those people that you sent through there, and I know I'm a lot better than that. Oh, you know, dude, a lot come better. on. I got all the energy. Victor. I got a wonderful voice. Victor. Victor. Victor, you know what? It doesn't matter what we think. It's, it, all that matters is what you think anyway. Your voice yeah, is it's, terrible. It's, it's definitely what America thinks Victor, as well. America, definitely what America Victor, thinks. America would hate you. Your voice America is terrible, would not man. hate me. I they would hate that. you, Victor, honestly. Vic, man. Let me tell you one thing. You don't forget this name, because I'll be back. Might not be back Victor, on this show, but, but Victor, I definitely will. Victor, you have, if you manage to get a number one record in the next six months, I'll pay you $50,000. I'll raise yeah. it to hundred. dollars I'll pay you $100,000. $100,000? What about William? He, uh... Really? Come here. It's a bet. It's a bet. I'll definitely bring it on, Simon. It's definitely a bet. We'll it you don't have to pay me, I'll pay you. Right. Because, Victor, you, you can't 
sing. That's, That's it. fine. I right, appreciate thank that. Thank you, man. I really appreciate your honesty. We appreciate yeah, yours, too. That's all I got to say. A bunch of This is I can dance. I, I can sing. I just, right now, I do not want the cameras in my face. I'm a little right now. I made a bet with Simon. He's going to pay me $100,000 if I can get a record contract in the next six months. $100,000. Well, you know what? Anybody in America, sign me up. I'll give you half of the $100,000. No. Yeah, nice offer, if that had actually been what Simon said. Peter, if you manage to get a number one record in the next six months, I'll pay you $50,000. I'll raise yeah, it to 100. I'll pay you 100. So the bet's for a number one record. But I guess when you're upset, you hear what you want to hear. And this guy has lost it. I can move around. I'm not all fat like Ruben. I'm better looking than Clay. I definitely think so. Definitely. It is amazing what people will do to try and cover up the fact that they can't sing even though it is a singing competition. This is what I think of Paula right now, and I hope she's watching. Randy gets to bother the black of my It's like my is for all I care. When I come back, you're gonna wish you had never screwed around with me. I've never, ever in my life been told that I wasn't good enough, ever. Wow. Until today. Simon, you are They're kind of jealous of my looks, but, because Randy knows a little overweight. You know, slim fast, don't work for everybody, but. Not to beaver heaven. I said beaver eight, beaver nine. I said stop. It's beaver time. You made it here. Chill, I don't want to smack this. Play with me, man. Don't play. That was nice. Sorry. I had to carry my notes just in case. Number one, you can't sing. Number two, you didn't remember the song. And number three, you can't read your own handwriting. I love you, 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 I love you. I love you, 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 I love you. I'm gonna sing Like a Virgin from Madonna. Okay, cool. Okay. I made it through the wilderness. Somehow I made it through it. Didn't know how lost I was until I found you. I was beat and complained. I've been had, I was sad, blue, but you made me feel. Yeah, you made me feel shiny and new, like a virgin. Say, Lily, 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 Say, Lily, Lily, Say, we 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 I'm five, I'm five years old and I can sing and I stay at the bump. I'm just gonna sing. I do your thing. No, no. Yeah, I'm. I already did it. I oh, you were so good. Hey, no, stay here for a second. Let us talk to you. That was a very nice performance. Probably one of the best ones we've seen. I didn't like it. <laughs> um, the um, Caucasian boy didn't like it. The so. Caucasian one, huh? <laughs> he yeah. liked it, but the brown dude liked it. The brown dude liked it, and the Caucasian guy didn't. Yeah, the Caucasian guy didn't like much. That was not serious. Look me in the eye and tell me that was serious. I swear to you that is serious. Swear on your life. I swear on my life and I never swear on my life. That was serious. Honest, honest to goodness. Oh God, I wish you hadn't said that. Wow. Was it that bad? Oh God. It's terrible, it's horrible. I'm sorry. I just, I realize that maybe I'm not that perfect person. But you look at some people that are out there and you, you put synthesizers in and drown them out with music and you pay them a ton. Take me, put synthesizers in me, give me a choreographer. No, give me a trainer, I will be out there. It doesn't matter what we put with you. It's not gonna work. That's ridiculous. I mean, I can't, I'm sorry. You ain't got it. It's all right, this just I mean, I lost 80 pounds to get here. That's that is great, that's really great. That's, great. <laughs> Don't that's cry the worst me. mistake. I love you, Paul. And oh, you guys have respect, but this is honestly probably one of the biggest mistakes. What? I didn't make it. 
They are out of their oh, mind. Hell they are out of their mind. Oh hell no. F them, Kristen. I know you're talented. I know you're talented. No, I know you're talented. I have worked so hard. I've gone so many nights without sleep. It. You better believe that someday I'm gonna make somebody a lot of money, including myself. Biggest mistake ever. Cynthia, it's a no. Oh. No. Yeah? No, no. yeah. No. But it's really that bad? Worse than you think. Can I do it one more time? No, no, Cynthia, please. There's only please. So much, listen, Cynthia, listen to me. There's only so much punishment a human being can take. Oh, no, I, I can take a lot more. No, I can't. No, no. I can't. Not you, us. Cynthia, you are I funny. can't take any more. Please, thank you, more Cynthia, no. thank you. Nice to meet thank you. you. Nice to meet you anyway, so bye. Likewise. I'm ready for your dungeon. I don't care. I'm still going to be all happy when you leave. I'm still going to be well, so we happy. Well, we won't disappoint you. You're dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Okay. Yeah, it's I painful. Like... It sounds like you're in pain while you're singing. I still love you. I still <laughs> love you. Still got one more to go. I'm feeling the music. I know I sound crappy, but you know what no, music the, comes no, but, from? But, but it trust comes me, from music. You may have felt the music. The music didn't feel you. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, I felt the music. That's all that matters. Yes or no? No, 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 no. 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 Off you go. Thank you. Out. Thanks. Out. I love you, you're not going love through. You. Love you too. <gasps> that. Okay, let me break it down. When contestants can't sing, they sometimes try to sneak their way into the competition by showcasing some of their other talents. I'm very excited. I'm ready to go in there and kick some tail. Hello, everyone. Hello. Georgina, welcome. There's a tea right there, dear. Excuse me? Oh, tea. yes, I'm just going to move these guys over. Yes, you guys are going to stay there until in case they invite you. Do you want to what? I have six puppets with me today. Wow. They would love to do a... Surprise performance for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, off you go. <laughs> this is Panchito, this is Santiaguito, this is uh, Baby Sherry, Cappy, Bernard, and Polly. John, I will return. What worries me is that I'm tempted to put the dog through. Are you going to sing a pop song for us? Aerosmith. Oh, Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Great. Is that their, a song from that, from, from that movie? Armageddon? Yeah, it could be, Armageddon. Yeah. Okay, okay. That was good. I'm not exaggerating. It's actually one of the best we've heard in this competition. I agree. Yeah. Her pitch was spot on. No, but I mean it. Really I'd good pitch. I'd rather listen to you than half the people who come in this door today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think she needs a mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, Simon. Simon, I think you have to give a mouth-to-mouth. Mouth-to-mouth. A word of fashion advice? When going on a job interview or audition, uh, don't dress like this. I look like this every day. I, I love to always stand out. Um, it may appear that I look like I have a lot of money, but you do not have to have a lot of money to look nice. You don't. And I think that's what uh, separates me from the, a lot of the other younger ladies out there because I'm still very classy, and I also know how to carry myself very well. well just to summarize, you got dressed in the dark. Yes. <laughs> yes. OK. That's all I want to know. Well, you've been through a lot, yeah. Melissa. Yes, so. I have. That is a very interesting outfit, Elizabeth. Oh, you like it? I love it. I was hoping to impress all of you guys. <laughs> you definitely have done that. I don't How think so. can you say you like the suit? It's very pimped out. Simon doesn't know pimped out fashion. Obviously not. Hideous. Hideous? Honestly, sorry, everything. Hideous. No. No, yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. I don't think so. I know so. I don't think so. I know so. I don't think so. I know so. I oh, God, I feel so. like I'm in high school. Let's go. Next. Wow. <laughs> Simon's sexy. He is sexy, don't you? He you is. find him sexy, don't you? Yeah, actually, he is an attractive guy. You know, a lot of people don't like him because his personality sucks. Right. But, you know, other than You that, love him. I'd give him a kiss. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Are you serious about wanting to be a singer? Yes. Let me tell you your problem. Your problem is, is that if you want to be successful, A, you've got to have talent, and B, hopefully a role model. Trust me. You are not a role model walking in dressed like that. You're not. 
I mean, it's, it's, it's ghastly. And it just would have put anyone off even before you opened your mouth. Um, and then you can't sing to back it up. So I think you've got a problem. Your styling is what puts us off, that's all. I think you should be a singing stripper. <laughs> Slow down, man. You, you look tremendously different and unique already, which is a great thing. All right, well, that's kind of what I'm going for. You'll get slaughtered in this competition. Paula. I'm not right for this competition. So what are you looking for, then? Which competition would it be right for? Uh... Best in show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Hey! I'm about to let y'all know who's the next American Idol! Woo! Woo, I feel it! Oh, my God. I, that was weird. I'm here to, um, to sing to America. <laughs> To what? sing for America. Okay, all right, let's try it again. <laughs> I'm, I'm here for the opportunity to sing to America. Because you think you could be the next? American Idol. Absolutely. Why? Because I'm singing from my heart. She bangs, she bangs. <laughs> oh, baby, when she moves, she moves. I go crazy because she looks like a flop, but she stings like a bee. Like every girl in history. She bangs, she bangs. Thank I'm you. wasted by the way Thank she... you. <laughs> William, it's one of actually the worst auditions we've had this year, if I'm being honest. Mm. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, everything about it was grotesque. Oh, stop oh, it. Not grotesque. It's an interesting stop motion there. Excuse me? I don't know, you look a little like a... You should stop now. Tamika Bush. Randy. Uh, I'm sorry. No, you're not super singer girl. Um, do you sing in your church choir? Yes, I do. I think that that would I was probably gonna ask be that. a better thing for you. I don't think that you're a solo singer at all. I think I'm more, sorry? I don't feel that you're a solo singer. I don't feel that you have a solo singer's voice. <laughs> I feel that you're more of a choral that I, that I really don't believe. I've been singing solo ever since I could sing. So for you to tell me that I should be singing in a choir when I've been leading every song in my choir since I was five years old. For you to tell me that, ha, I laugh at you. It is definitely only my opinion, but yes, my it is. expert music industry opinion. But like you said, it's only your opinion. Okay, so what have you done that was great? What have I done singing. that was great? Singing, what have you done? Has anyone signed you? Have you sung on any records? No. So you're not there yet, so obviously. I, that does not matter to me. I know my I talent. That. I know yes. my talent, and I know what I can do, as opposed to the couple of minutes, uh, the couple of seconds of a song that you heard you of a think, song. That, let me ask you something else. Do you think that I know what I'm talking about? No, right now I don't. Why not? Because I know I can sing. Do you know who I am? No, I don't. Do you know who I've worked with? No, I don't, and don't really care. You so want to know why? You do. Do you want to know why it does not matter to wait, me? Wait, wait, because me I've been singing ever since I was five, and I know for a fact that I can sing. That I can sing solo. I've been doing it forever. Okay, let me finish. It doesn't matter to you that I've worked with some of the greatest singers. I understand that. And it doesn't matter to you that since I've worked with some of the greatest singers, the Mariahs, Wendy, Celines, anybody that you name, mm -hmm. that maybe I know a little bit more about what I'm talking about than you, and maybe I'm an expert, and maybe I can help you and give you some enlightenment and tell you that, hey, maybe you're not, gonna, you're not good enough to be an American Idol to do this as a solo performer. Do you believe that? No. Okay. 
OK, let's get a second opinion, Paula. Yeah, let's get a second opinion. Yeah, I'd like one. I'm kind of blown away by um, just your, your um, self-righteousness and, and, and um, your lack of respect for quite possibly the network that chose us to be judges. Um, we are all, we're all in a field that it is just our opinion. However, it, it is our opinion, and, and we're able to give feedback to you that may, just may, possibly be constructive to you, so that if this is really what you want to do, then you may take a little bit of constructive criticism and carry it on to the next audition. OK, because that's not what he said. He said I needed to sing in a choir. In my I'm opinion, choir. you're not a solo singer. In your What's opinion. Simon? What's that Simon? Simon, what do you think? Well, you know, it's, it's Tamika's opinion, you know. We don't think you're very good, you do. That's your prerogative. But you're not good enough to go through to the next round. That's cool. If you feel I'm not good enough, which I know that I am, and y'all feel that I'm not, hey, who am I to, to begrudge you your opinion? I have my own, you have yours. Carry your confidence and, and keep going keep forward. It. Keep That's, it and keep, keep, it. keep trying good. for the next audition. One thing about, I know what it's like to be out there auditioning. Mm -hmm. I've been rejected bazillions of times, but it never, it, it never stopped me from going on to the next audition. Because eventually, who knows, you will get something that oh, you like. Oh, no, I've never taken lessons. Do you feel that you need them? No, I do Don't not. Don't you think they will help you? Why? Because okay. you want to get better. You want to be the best you can be, right? Do you want to be the best you can be? Of course. Then take some lessons and do everything you can with that confidence so you can be the best that you can be. So you feel I need lessons? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, like I said, that's your opinion, but... Randy, Randy. Okay. I know I sing better than you. Yes or no? I, I, I'm, I'm quite sure I sing a whole lot better than you do. And for you to tell me I need lessons? Tell me cut, tell me cut. Oh. Enough, enough, oh, enough, enough. I'm hurt. I'm hurt and I'm angry. And I'm really starting to get angry because for you to sit there, you're not standing where I'm standing. You're not coming from where I'm coming from. You're not standing here being judged by people about how you sing. You're not singing, are you? And for you to tell me that I need lessons. Tamika, Tamika. Tamika. Go, go, it's Tamika. Tamika, listen to me. Tamika, Tamika. Not Tamika. 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 Go to an audition where they lie to you. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, no, I'm not about to go oh. to an audition where go, they go, lie go to me. Yeah, we're telling you the truth and you don't want to hear it. Go there. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Because y'all got problems. Y'all got major issues. Oh, Lord. Y'all want to get my reaction on the assholes that's in there that's doing the auditions. They're stupid and they don't know what they're looking for. They have no idea what they're looking for. They're saying that I have no talent, which I know I do. I need voice lessons and I need to be singing in somebody's choir. Y'all done tripped out and lost your minds because I can ask anybody that I have ever sang for in my whole entire life. And they will tell you right now, that girl has a beautiful voice and she needs to be making albums. But what did they tell me? You can't sing, you don't have the talent. And then after I went off, they're gonna tell me, well, we just feel that you're not right for this. We're not saying that. Maybe if you took some voice lessons, you'd be all right. Y'all can kiss my ass. It's how I feel about it. Y'all can kiss my ass, y'all can take this Shove it, because I'm not what y'all looking for. I'm not the next Britney Spears or NSYNC or Jessica Simpson or somebody. I'm totally different. I'm not Brandy, I'm not Monica, and I'm definitely not Aaliyah. I'm somebody totally different, and I'm not what they looking for. Don't bother me, so, now. What did you think was gonna happen when you went in there? Uh, let's see. I get to sing my songs, and then they tell me whether I made it or not. No, they want to start bashing me over the top of my head. But no, I'm not going to stand there and cry in front of y'all if that's what y'all thought y'all was about to get. But I am going to speak my mind and tell y'all how, how I feel about y'all little judging. Because I don't look like all these other little girls out here. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. I'm going to be me, no matter what I do. What do you think of the British judge? The British judge never said anything to me. Oh, you mean that British judge that's on the end? He's an ass, and he can kiss my. He can go kiss my natural born black ass for all I f care. Because he don't know diddly squat. And neither do that big fat black mother that's sitting on the other side. He don't know s either. And Paula Abdul is just jealous. That's my opinion. So what do you think of the British judge? 
where are you going on from here? Oh, I'm going. going to, oh, yes, most definitely. You will see me somewhere. Y'all will be able to buy my CD, buy my albums, or whatever, because Tamika is going on. Whether these people let me do it or not, I'm going somewhere. It might. It's not going to be with them, but it'll be with somebody who will appreciate me as an artist, not them. You want a showgirl? I brought the dice. No, I, I wasn't a showgirl. They don't really have showgirls there. That's only a few ideas. What are you going to say to this? The Unchained Melody.
Hello. Hi guys, how are you? Okay. Hi. Your name, <laughs> Hello. Your name Hi. is? Jacqueline Roman. Okay, let me ask you a question, Jacqueline. Why are you here? Because I want to be the next American Idol. Seriously? Yes. Why do you think you are? Because I'm unique and I could sing any song you give me. So really? I'm very, I'm very unique and I'm very, um, you know, I think I could be. And you watched the last show? Yes. You think you could have done better than Reuben and Clay? Yes. <laughs> no, no, fine. Exactly, okay. yes. Um, but they're great. They're great in their own way, and everybody's unique and talented and, you know, has their own thing. So they have their own style and ways of... I'm with you. All right, and what are you going to sing, Jacqueline? Route 66. Ooh. Mm. Off you go. Silly, lily, 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 Silly, lily, 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 Say what we were, we When you make that California trip, I'll get your kicks on Route 66. Come on now, get your kicks on Route. Well, get your kicks on Route 66. Yeah! Oh, God. <laughs> Jacqueline, what was that? <laughs> Oh, oh my God! And that is what you think we're looking for. Oh, that's honey. not Route 66, man. Oh. oh. I mean, that was musical murder. <laughs> and I'm not being rude. Wow. It was absolutely awful. Wow. Oh. Jacqueline, that was terrible, dude. God. What do you do? Aren't you in college? Yes. What do you major in? Theater. And I'm a jazz artist. Okay. So, That's you were to scat? Is, my nickname is Scat Girl. How do you think you did? I tried my best. Oh, oh, Randy, yes or no? With God on my side, that's all I can ask for. Well, he's taken the day off, sweetheart. <laughs> Randy, yes or no? And you know what? I'm in love with you, so really, I don't care what you say. I'll still be in love with you. No, but Jack, wow. I'm not being rude to you. I'm just trying to give you a reality oh. check, which was it just wasn't good enough. You know, and I'm falling a little bit in love with you. <laughs> oh, a little bit. Uh, uh. Well, then maybe, uh, who we knows? We should just forget this competition. I, you know what? I think forget the, I think you guys belong together, Simon. I do, too. Yeah? You I'm, don't a mind? Little, I'm a little jealous. And you know what? I've never seen him this happy. Look at how he's smiling. <laughs> I'm a bit shy. Yeah. OK, let's sum this up. Randy, yes or no? Uh, no, Scat Girl, I'm sorry. It was all out of tune and all terrible. Paula? I'm sorry, Stuart. Love the colors you're wearing, though. Thank you. Jacqueline, listen that. Thanks. Bye, sweetheart. You can kiss him, though, if you want to. What? You yeah, why don't kiss you kiss him? him? Simon, give her a kiss. Oh, oh that was a good great. kisser, though. You are a good kisser. I'll give you that. It was a bit quick, but she's good. <laughs> Rubbing your hands like you're nervous, a little nervous? A little bit. Ready to be the next American Idol? Hopefully. Have you seen the show before? Yeah. You think you have what it takes? I think so. Hi, Keith. Hi, Simon. How are you doing? Hi, Keith. You? Just come over there for the Welcome. tea. Welcome. So, Keith, why are you here? I'm here because I think I'm the next American Idol. I'm very entertaining and unique. Mm. OK, best undiscovered talent in America. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Sure. OK, and what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing Like a Virgin from Madonna. OK, cool. Okay. I made it through the wilderness Somehow I made it through it all. Didn't know how lost I was Until I found you I was beat and complete I've been had I was sad and blue But you made me feel 
Yeah, you made me feel shiny and new, like a virgin. Touch for the very first time, like a virgin, with your heartbeat okay. next to Do you do another song? Okay, I'm gonna do I Wanna Dance With Somebody. Okay. Oh. Clock strikes upon the hour and the sun begins to fade. Still enough time to figure out how to chase my blues away. I've done all right up to now. It's the light of day that shows me how and when the night falls, loneliness goes. Oh, I wanna dance with somebody. Oh, I wanna feel that heat with somebody. Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Keith. Yeah? Um, last year I described someone as being the worst singer in America. I think you're possibly the worst singer in the world based on that performance. And I'm absolutely serious. I've never, ever heard anything like that in my life. Ever. Keith, that was horrific, man. Well, it was you, when you said interesting and unique, you said a mouthful. Oh, my God. No, but Keith, you, you've got to hear yourself to believe it. There is nobody on this planet who sings like you. Really. You've got to be kidding me. I'm being absolutely serious. I, I mean, are you serious? I don't think I'm the best singer in the world, but hey, I think I'm a good singer. I don't think, I know for sure there is no one in this country who sings like you. I guarantee there is no one on this planet who sounds like you. Do people tell you you sound good? Yeah. Like who? Everybody around here has been saying that I'm good. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> what, about, what about your family? Well, my mom wasn't very supportive of it first, but she, did, she hasn't heard me <laughs> sing like this. Where else do you live? I live outside of Atlanta. What songs did you sing for your mom? I haven't sang very much in front of her. I've always sang in front of my friends. Because your mom doesn't approve? What do approve? your friends say? They say I'm good. Keith, trust me on this. You should never, ever, ever plan on a career in singing. What else do you love to do? Well, I like to dance. Just, you know, maybe get into dancing. <laughs> yes or no? No, no. Keith, no. it's a no. Fine. OK, other way. Thank you, Keith. All right. The other way, dude. You have found your star. <laughs> No, you have found your star. <laughs> no go? No. You okay? A little bit. Yeah? Simon is the biggest jerk I have ever met. Yeah? Yeah, and he told me, you remember when I heard about the worst singer in America? He told me I'm the worst singer in the world, so he can go kiss my ass. You disagree? Yeah. Well, he also said uh, you should probably not pursue singing considering he thought you're the worst singer in the world. Are you gonna keep singing? Hopefully. Well, this guy, I mean, you know, they, you gotta give him a little credit. They, they kinda know what they're talking about. Maybe you should pursue something else. I don't know, because no one's ever said stuff like me, to that me, to me before. Yeah. They've always said I'm good. No one said I'm the worst singer in the well, world. Well, maybe they weren't being honest with you. I mean, you have to respect honesty. Yes, I know Simon's honest. Yeah. But you went in there, you gave it your all? You said you like to dance. Yeah. Maybe you should become a dancer. I don't know. A lot of career dancers out there that make money and do well and tour with good singers, so maybe you could do that. What are you thinking right now? I'm not sure. Are you sorry you went through with that? Not really. I, li I met a lot of nice people. And yeah. There's a lot of talent around here. Why'd you pick Like a Virgin from Madonna? Because I thought it was the best song that I could sing. There's no song I thought I could sing better than that. Well, maybe there is. I guess so. All right, well, thanks for going through with it. All right, thank you. Appreciate your courage. God knows it takes a lot to go through with it. Yeah.
Hello, how are you? How are you doing? I've been dying to show you guys this. Mind if I step up? Yeah, please. What is it? A picture of me and my idol, Mariah Carey, and she was talking about you. Oh, I my God. Oh, why well, she was like, down here? Oh, he's great, blah, blah, blah. You guys look great. Thank you. Well, she was, what did she, she really say? The, <laughs> no, she did. I worked with Randy. You're gonna meet him. Tell him I said hi. Oh, see, that's so sweet. <laughs> Very similar hair. Yeah, yeah. 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 For like four years. Do you love Mariah? Yes. yes. You sing like her? I hope so. Yeah. How did you meet her? Uh, I wanted on the radio. Okay. I actually got a chance on the radio. They said, "Come and meet her. It's an intimate meet and greet." Wow. And she was at a South Florida rehearsal studio. Off you go. Right. Wow. And presumably you're gonna sing a Mariah song. All right. So let's. So go for it. Take a look at me now Cause there's just an empty space There's nothing left here to remind me Just the memory of your face So take a look at me now Cause there's just an empty space but to wait for you is all I can do, and that's what I've got to face. Take a good look at me now, cause I'll still be standing here. And you coming back to me is against all odds, that's the chance I've got. Take a look at me now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. So, uh. So nervous, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Wish I had another chance. It's okay. You got another song? Mm hmm. What song? Chain, 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 Aretha. Let's see a little bit of that. Okay. I couldn't hit those. Okay, take a deep breath. And take just a deep breath. Let go. Now you tell me to leave you alone My father says come on home My doctor said take it easy Well but your loving is much too strong I'm adding to your chain 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 of fools Whoa. Now one of these mornings that chain is going to break. But up until then, yeah, I'm going to take all I can take. Whoa, yeah. Chain, chain, chain. Thank you. All right, cool, cool. So, Paula. Oh, um, <sighs> Tara, I, oh. Did I hit my high notes? I'm so nervous. Yeah. I did it yesterday. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm speechless, quite honestly. I, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. I do. Simon? Tara, there is only one resemblance you have to Mariah Carey, and that is your hair. You have one of the worst voices I've ever heard, truthfully. It is absolutely terrible. And even though you adore this girl, you, uh, you can't <sighs> sing. I know I blew it, but I no, promise no. you, it's I can sing. It's not a question of you blew it. Lessons, you can't. I well, great. I honest, well honest I said it, I've said it before in this competition. <laughs> Sue, your singing so teacher. I mean, life. serious. Dreadful. Yeah, you know what? Simon's got a point, though. I don't think this is for you singing. I mean, and, and the, the main thing is that people come in here. If you can't tell the difference between a really good singer and yourself where you are, then you have no business singing. Because, I mean, that's part of it. Being able to know where you are and knowing if you can do this for real or not. Just being honest with yourself, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Are there other things that you want to do with your... I want to yeah. sing. And Tara, I'm you can't. To. You can't sing. I know I sing. can. You just haven't heard me well. I just heard here. you murder two songs. Who's the vocal teacher? Mm, Yvette. My singing you got to call her and say, Yvette, what are you doing to me? No, no, no. You phone her and say, <laughs> Yvette, <laughs> refund. <laughs> I'm not as bad as you think. You are. I can do this. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, Tara you can't. was really bad today, yo. It was. It was I know really it was bad, bad today. <laughs> you you today. weren't even on the melody. I know it was you didn't. Bad today. You weren't on the melody, honey. You can't hear it. That's the thing that's hard because yeah. you can't hear that you're not even on the melody. If you can't tell, then you shouldn't be singing. Honest to God, I've never been so nervous. That's all. I understand that. Well, Go out of you. here. 
phone up your vocal coach and demand a refund. I'm serious. Tell That's Yvette, enough. man. Tell Yvette she's wronged you. <clears throat> Thanks a lot. Thank you. Found out you were going to be here. I heard you got some errors yesterday. Who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> I, tell you. I bought a shaving mirror. Uh, okay. Not mirrors, a shaving mirror. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. So, Patsy, you're 21, right? Yes. Hi. What are you going to sing? I will be singing Unchained Melody. Wow. It Dedicate says, this to Simon. It says she started a record store when she was 16. Yeah, it was small. It was inside of a bazaar. Oh, so. Nice. Ready? Okay. Oh, my love, my darling, I've hungered for your a long, lonely time. As time goes by, so slowly that time can do so much. Oh. You couldn't make an album because there'd only be one song on it. But no, Patsy, two things. You are probably the most attractive girl who's been in to this competition so far. And I think you are the worst female singer so far. Okay. And I'm not being rude. It, it, it was, I mean, literally indescribable. Yeah, really bad. I mean, who told you to audition for this? Who? I don't, I did, I just but wanted to, it was something I wanted to do. And Why? I've had fun, so I, I like it, I mean, yeah. it's all really, like, good. How do you think you did? I mean, I think, I think I did good. I mean, just coming <laughs> this far and having fun, I think okay. I did okay. Right. Well, the good thing about this is that we're like uh, kind of voices of reality for you, because we're music industry veterans. Really bad. Okay. Well, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Carmen. Tea on the floor here, my darling. You just stand there. Okay, Carmen. So, where are you from? I'm from Bulgaria. Okay. And how old are you? I'm 19. And tell me something about yourself. Hmm. Um, um, I love meeting a lot of people. Yes. People. I love speaking different languages. Yeah. Um, I speak five of them. And I love playing tennis. I love, I, of course, I love singing. Yes. That's most of <laughs> all. That's your passion. Uh, yes, I like dancing a lot. And I've met a lot of people. I have friends at a lot of places all around the world. And it's so nice. 
like to know so many people. I and totally agree. Have you entered any competitions in the past? Um, yeah, once before. I was uh, in a competition in Cyprus. Uh, it was a quite big competition. It was in Cyprus only. It's a small island, so yes. it wasn't really big, but it was good. And where did you get to? I did. I got to the first seven. How Great. many people entered? Uh, like ninety. Ninety. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's good. All right. Uh, and off you go. What are you going to sing? I'm going to sing Cher. Strong enough. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I don't need your sympathy There's nothing you could say or do for me And I don't want me because You'll never change for no one Not be your reasons why Where did you sleep last night? And was she worth it? Was she worth it? Cause I'm strong enough to live without you Strong enough, now I quit crying Long enough, now I'm strong enough To know that you've got to go There's no more to Come on, what were the other 83 like in the competition? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the question. Has anyone ever said to you that you sound like a man when you sing? <laughs> yes, they call me early in the morning at 8. And I pick up the phone and they're like, oh, Ivan, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm not Ivan. <laughs> like, oh, come on, stop joking. Come I want to tell you something. I'm like, I'm not come Ivan. I'm not, I'm not being rude, but that was one of the worst auditions I've ever heard. Seriously. <laughs> oh, boy. It was absolutely appalling. I'm just fascinated that... I'm fascinated with the voice. You're a beautiful woman, but you sound like a man when you sing. Did you hear a lot of men singing when you were growing up, or what is the... No, it's just my voice. Your speaking voice or speaking voice? But your speaking voice is like a lot higher. Hmm. I don't know. Well, what, hmm. I mean, do you have another song? Um, yeah, I haven't break my heart, Tony Braxton. Right. Oh, let's hear that. Oh, that'd be great. Okay. But try and sing it like, you know, I think what Randy's picking up on is that you did sound a bit masculine when you <laughs> sang that last one. Oh. It's a bit more feminine. Off you go. <clears throat> Don't leave me in all this pain Don't leave me out on the rain Come back and bring back that smile Come and take these tears away I can't forget the day you lied Nights were so unkind But bring back those nights when I held you beside me One break my heart Say you love me again Undo this hurt you caused when you walk out the door and walk out of my life. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, 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 okay. Paula. Um, Carmen, I'm going to have to pass. Sorry. That was better, though, but... Yes, oof. I agree. I agree. Oh, wow. And why would... Could I just know the reason? Uh, Carmen, well, you are a terrible singer. I don't think Seriously. she's terrible. Oh, she is. I don't think she's terrible. No, but you've got to be right for this competition. That was better. That was better. Because Tony Braxton sings low, too, kind yes. of like a husky kind of voice. But you're just not even anywhere close to being the best. We're trying to find the best here. Right. See these two people, the one behind you? Yeah. They're really, really good. Like some of the best we've ever found. That's where Sorry. the benchmark Thank is. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. I grew up in Los Angeles, California. Um, I'm originally born from Hong Kong, so I've been here in the United States for 10 years. And um, I, I'm currently studying at UC Berkeley right now. Uh, but it's kind of odd, like, why I chose to even audition in the first place, because uh, my, my major is civil engineering, which is not totally not related to music. <laughs> but but um, I really like music. I want to make music my living. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. William. Yes. How are you doing today? Oh, great. Thank you. You're great doing to see great? You. Great to see you guys. Thank well, thank you. It's great for us to be seen by you. Yeah. <laughs> I like that, Paula. William, why are you here? Um, I'm here to, um, to sing to America. <laughs> to what? sing for America. Okay, all right. Let's try it again. <laughs> I'm, I'm here for an opportunity to sing to America. Because you think you could be the next? American Idol. Absolutely. Why? 
because I'm singing from my heart. I'm, I, I may not be the best singer uh, um, around the world, but I know that I, I sing from my heart, and I, I put every bit of energy into it. Really? Yes. William, what's your last name? Hung, H-U-N-G. Hung. Yes. Do you have brothers and sisters? No, I don't. I'm the only child. You're the only child? Yes. Do your parents tell you you have a great voice? Um, um, no, they don't realize that actually. They when don't they, realize it yet. No, my parents. My, no, because my um, when I was young, my parents uh liked to sing karaoke. I was there with them and sing with them as um, as a hobby. And oh. what do they do when you sing with them? Um, what do I do? What do, what I do, do they do? What do they do when I sing with them? Um, they thought I'm okay. They thought they thought they thought I have I have some I have a chance of you know making it to the next level. Great. Mm. Are they are they excited for you that you're here? Um, they actually, uh, they would they would not like it um, if they hear um, that you know I'm missing school for two days in a row. So they oh, wouldn't like it if you got through, huh? They wouldn't be happy if you got through. No, they would be happy if I go through. Okay. They wouldn't be happy if I don't go through. Because <laughs> <laughs> you missed two days of school. Yes, that's a lot. That's a big sacrifice. But okay, hey, yeah. I, I love I love singing. I love singing. I prefer singing a lot over a lot of all, right, all, all activities. And what are you gonna sing? I would like to sing Ricky Martin, She Banks. Fantastic. I hope you all enjoy it. Okay. All right, let's go. All right. Talk to me, tell me your name. You blow me off like it's all the same. You lit it fuse and I'm taking away like a bomb. Yeah, baby. Talk to me, tell me your sign. You switching sides like a Gemini. You playing games and now you're hitting my heart like a drum. Yeah, baby. Well, if Lady Luck gets on my side, we're gonna rock this town alive. I'll let her rock me up till she knocks me out. <laughs> she walks like she talks, and she talks like she walks. She bangs, she bangs. Oh, baby, when she moves, she moves. I go crazy cause she looks like a fly, but she stings like a bee. Like every girl in history. She bangs, she bangs. Thank I'm you. wasted by the way Thank she... Thank you. William, you did put everything <laughs> you had into that. You did, and I love that. I love that you did that. I didn't. I do. <laughs> I, I love that he put every bit he had into it. Well, I didn't. William, it's one of actually the worst auditions we've had this year, if I'm being honest. Mm. Seriously. Mm. I mean, everything mm. about it was grotesque. Oh, stop oh, it. Not grotesque. It was. Come stop on. Stop it. <laughs> you can't sing, you can't dance. So what do you, what do you want me to say? Um, I already gave my best, and there's, I have no regrets at all. Good I, for you. That's good. That's, now that's good. William. That's good. That's the best attitude yet. All right. So, uh, Randy, yes or no? No, William, you're not, you're not good enough for this, dude. But at least you came here, you had a good time, you had yep. fun, right? Yes. You we did had, your thing, baby. And we had fun watching you. Okay. Thank you so much for coming down. Thank you. Go and do some, no. William, go and do some homework. Okay. And I'll continue we won't tell on. your parents that you missed two days of school, okay? Yeah, no, no, you know, I have no professional training of singing. No. Dancing, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the surprise of the century. <laughs> William, you're the best. You're the best. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have Thank you, William. Okay. Thank you, William. Thank you. Thank you. But Bye -bye. on a more serious note, you're not serious about this, are you? Yes, she is. As no, I sorry, am. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. I missed two days of school for this. It's a that's big sacrifice. Right. <laughs> well, that's and I already walked. And I walk a lot. But I walk very hard for this. So that's right. I already gave my best. I believe at okay. this point. Okay. I can do better. I know that. That's that's for sure. Thank okay, you William. So much, Thank you, William. William. Okay. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye. I, I hear that people call you Fantasia. Yes. Why is that? Because um, I sung her song, Summertime, really, really bad. And everybody in the stadium, they cheered for me, and they, they clapped for me, and I signed autographs and took pictures. They loved me down there. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Hey, why are you here, sweetheart? I'm here to be the next American Idol. And what did you go? What are you going to sing? Now, what have you got to I'm make you the next American Idol? I'm going to the Star Spangled Banner. And why, why do you think you're going to be the next American Idol? Because I know how to interact with the crowd. Um, I'm a great performer. Okay. Yeah. All, right. All right, cool. And you're going to sing the Star, Star Spangled Banner? Great. All thank you.
Wow, I'm speechless. Wow. <laughs> well, at least you knew the words. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh. And I love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. LL. Yes or no? Um, no. But, but, but it's a lot of love for you. Yes. And I understand, but not yet. But you can just practice some more. You gotta practice more. Okay. But you can practice. But somewhere that. private. Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Randy. It's gonna be a no for me too, dear. But you know what? I appreciate you coming out and trying. You know what I'm saying? You really tried hard to do your thing. You are a total sweetheart, and I think you can come back next season, practice, and take the constructive criticism. And it is a no, although, like I said before, at least you remember the words. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming Thank out, you so sweetheart. Thank you so much, Leandra. Okay. And practice. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. All right. Take All right, care of your sister, too. Hi. Hey guys, how's it going? Good, how are you? Oh, hey. Daniel. Yes, that is I. You can call me Danny. Danny? Yes, that's what all my friends call me. You feeling uh, good about this? I'm trying my best. I'm kind of nervous, to be honest. That's, that's OK. Just let it go and have fun. What are you going to sing? Um, I'm going to do If Ever Fall in Love by Shy. OK, cool. And if I ever fall in love so true, I will be sure that the lady's just like you. Yeah, the very next time she'll be my friend to be with me, my future friend. If I say that I will be your one then only Promise that you never leave me lonely I just wanna be the one you need Oh baby Sometimes I feel like if I don't deserve you I cherish every moment that we share And if I ever fall in love so true Like you. Andy. Do you, do you ever see Eddie Murphy do that character, Buckwheat, on Saturday Night Live? Yeah. This is Buckwheat. <laughs> this is Buckwheat. <laughs> <laughs> you sing just like that. It's funny. That was terrible. I'm sorry. Do you have another song that you can give us? Um, yes. You can do this one better, yeah. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming when the rocket's red flare go the birth in air. Gave through to the night and that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star banner rocket red flare for the land of the free and the home. Okay, Randy. <laughs> that was even worse. <laughs> Woo! Try my try. It was entertaining, though. Thank you. I Lisa, gotta admit that. I that can't be a singer. Maybe I can become an entertainer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Simon. Well, don't take this personally, but oh, oh, please. no, I mean it. You're one of the worst singers I've ever heard in my life. Oh, what about the one dude? Wait a minute, I think you did. worse than you? you did the one skinny guy. Remember the white the white guy? The guy who was like talking a song? The Which one? The white I can't remember how he went. 
Well, no, no, Daniel, as far as LA is concerned, you're in a class of your own. Yes, thank you. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, don't mean, I don't mean it. <laughs> no, exactly. Daniel, it's not good news. I know. <laughs> I say, hey, I'm going to come here and have fun. <laughs> Believe me, yes. it isn't good news. I mean, that was absolutely um. diabolical. How really? do you think you did? Honestly, I'm tired. I tried my best. I mean, I made it this far, and that's all I can say. It's like, I made it this far. It's good enough for me. All right. OK. Randy, yes or no? Uh, I'm on the fence, but I'm going to have to say no. Paula? Yeah, think about it, right? No, I... No. Daniel's a no. But thank you very much. Right. Take you care. Bye. Out you go. Oh, thank you. What's up, man? Hey, now, please. How you doing? I'm all right. What's up, Jace? Hey, Jason. Jason. From DC. Yeah. What's your motto, man? Uh, I am the next American Idol. All right. Yeah. Popular sentiment around here. What, what song are you gonna sing? Papa was a Rolling Stone. All right. All right. What's the 5.9 percent mean? Um, 5.9. It basically means it's um, 5.9 percent alcohol per volume. Basically, I was a drunk and uh, I found Jesus and turn my life over and basically I just found out that I could sing. A Good. Of cool. All right. Okay, he's been busy. So, Off you go. It was the 3rd of September, the day I always remember, cause that was the day that my daddy died. Never got a chance to see him, <laughs> never, never heard nothing but bad things about him. So mama, I got baby, are you? Now tell me the truth. And Mama just hung her head and said, Son, Papa was a rolling stone. Hey, hey, hey. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. And when he died, oh, it just wasn't long Hey, Mama, is it true as I'm, I'm, I'm into it. Hey, Mama, is it true what they say about Papa never worked a day in his life? And, and mama, some bad talk going around, talk about Papa had three back, three outside children and another wife. So, hey, talk about Papa. Hey, talk. Hey, talk about Papa. Hey, talk. Hey, talk about Papa doing some sidewalk preaching. Talk about saving your soul and all the time leeching, dealing in debt and stealing in the name of the Lord. So, mama. All right, Jason. Thank you. If this was a group competition, I'd put you through. Yeah. Because you are the first person. It's about five, there's five of you in there. Yeah. It was fun, though, man. Do you know it what I mean? Fun. It's like, I was strange. You know, but it was yeah, entertaining. so entertaining. And the dance, the choreography you put together was like. I didn't know you were in here. <laughs> There all day. <laughs> but you, un you understand. It's like it's like there's <laughs> you, that you are a, a solo artist, but you are also a five-person group. Yeah, I mean, dog. It just you know, it was fun though, but it's just not right, man. It's not it's not good enough to. He'd saved the record label a fortune on royalties. Though. Oh, yeah. Simon. <laughs> You split the publishing amongst yourself. Yeah. I had a blast watching you. I appreciate you coming out. But you're not up to par with the people behind us, behind you. But good looking out there, man. Thank you. It's a no, man. It's a Thank no. You so much. Take care, man. man. You were a lot Please. of fun. Thank you, all of you. <laughs> See you guys. What's up, guys? What's, What's going on, man? Christopher How's Scott? It going, baby? Yo, I saw you on the front page of the news today. USA Today, did you see it, did you know? Happy birthday, you're on the cover of the news. He did like a Shrek 2 bonus feature thing. You said oh. some stuff about Paul and Randy that they printed. Mm. Was it not nice? I, uh, well, you know, Chris, Simon, let's just carry on with yeah, the Did about you, you say Come something on, not dish. nice, I Simon? Shrek and then Fiona and their, and their ogres. Oh, he and called And then Simon's ogres. there and he's him and he's, he looks all nice and computerized. And then he said that working with the two ogres, they were um, not only um, better looking, but more intelligent. This is Simon's words. Oh, how could you? Oh, that's all the news that's how could you, Simon? Simon? How could that's, you use us for you a while? You know what? 
How could you use us for a laugh? I want to say something, but I won't. Yes. Let's call USA Today tonight, Paula. Read between the lines. <laughs> thank, thank you for that, Christopher. Let's call oh. USA Today right now. Uh, so I got you're... the number. You want me to call him? I got the number. <laughs> Thanks for the news. I'm so, you're Sorry. welcome. Stop the presses. But what it's about school. you right now, so go That's on. right, baby. Thank right. you. I appreciate that, Paula. Great. Christopher Scott Knoll. That's right, sir. Right. And you're a nanny. I am a nanny. I uh, tend after two young girls, one and five, Sarah and Sophia. Uh, they are gorgeous. I love them with all my heart. I call them my kids, even though... They're like your family. They're like my family. But you'd oh. leave them behind if you did well in this. Uh, in a heartbeat. Right, <laughs> right. Door would slam shut, you know what okay. I'm saying? Okay. Right, watch Man right, TV, you know? right. They, they get something out of it. Yeah, they get to see their, you know, their favorite on uh, TV, so that'd be fresh. Wow, I mean, lucky them. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and what are you going to sing, Christopher? I'm going to sing some original rap songs for you about cool. y'all. Right, off you go. <clears throat> My name is Christopher No, they call me Mr. Rock and Roll. I got a sinister soul and yo, I win at all my goals. Woo! Stop looking, cause y'all can't find a better man. Damn San Fran, I'm the man with the better plan. Oof, where my dog at? Oof, Randy Jackson, dropping facts, son. Dropping weight, change the waist on his slack, son. What about the one with the wise crack, son? Simon Cowell, S. Dot Cowell. Spell it out, and yes, it spells scowl. Always oh. on the prowl, don't make him growl. Owl, but recognize that you wise like the owl. Ooh, yeah, I gotta thank God and Jesus. I gotta thank Ganesha. Oh my gosh, look, it's TV's Moesha. <laughs> yo, yo, Q, you know your girl be a dandy. You better known as Brandy and she be some eye candy. Ooh, <laughs> you, we pour a douchey. So hot, yo, yo, she's so cushy. So fine, I'm inclined to drool. Wanna sip wine and recline by the pool? Not tonight, Chris, I got a headache. Take a mind all, girl. You looking at the American Idol. Uh. Thank you. That was, yes, yes. That was really good. Entertaining. That was really entertaining. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Brandy. Yeah, dude, I, I enjoyed myself, man. I was having a good time. God bless you, Randy. Feel like I had a concert going on up in That's here. That's right, man. baby. And you didn't have to pay for the ticket. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. You got, yeah. got t-shirts for you. Yeah, yeah. I, I might band. need one of them, man. <laughs> Randy, yes or no? Um, 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 some more sucking up. Um, uh, um, Remember, dropping facts, son. Dropping yeah, weight, oh, yeah, weight, yeah. Slack, dropping son. science, dropping, yeah, dropping knowledge. Si like a bomb, and yeah. your mind is Nagasaki. Oh. I'm going to have to say no. <laughs> Brandy. I think what you just did caused Randy to say no. I'm going to say... <laughs> Randy said no? Y'all are rude? Look at these two, rude on the left, my No, goodness. no, 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 not rude, <laughs> just not really right for the competition. It's not really right for this, though, dog. That's what do you problem. want me to sing, baby? Pop song, woman, woman, Stevie hey, Wonder? We, we just, we just heard again? five. Paula? <laughs> I, you know what? I think he's been the most original I've, we've seen today. So I'm going to say yes. What? You know? Well, the good news is... Paula liked me. I think you were very original. I think you were we're extremely original. The good okay, news is... Okay, I'm not speaking to you two. The girls have wow. kept their nanny. What's that? The girls have kept their nanny. It's a no. All right, y'all. Well, uh, I was entertained, baby. I boycott. I boycott. I think you were great. Thank you. You were very, very entertaining. TiVo season pass canceled, American <laughs> Idol. So now, what, what is your name? Because I don't want to mess it up. Yeah, I know you guys have it as Fookling somewhere and Benita somewhere. It's Fookling Benita Lee. Fookling? Benita Lee. Benita Lee. But okay. I go by Benita. And you're 23? Yes. Would. From Cambridge, Mass, or from Seattle? Cambridge. Well, I'm from Seattle. I'm going to um, Harvard for graduate school, finishing it up. So that's why I flew in from Cambridge both times just to be here. I'm so serious about this. And you are so smart. So smart. You didn't even go to high school. really hard. She didn't even go to high school, man. I skipped I high school. <laughs> yes. I mean, I, I'm impressed. I mean, it, it makes me wonder why, why you want to do why this. Why would you want to do this show, then? Because I love the show, and I love singing, and... Growing up, uh, my mom, well, my mom and her sisters are all professional singers, and growing up, we're expected to play every single instrument and sing. And Can you play every instrument? Piano, clarinet, saxophone. And I stopped there, and I went to singing, and I realized that it's something special that 
I used to take for granted. So as oh, I this grew is going to be great. She's I love, smart. I love singing. She goes to Harvard. She plays a bunch of instruments. And I want to sing for people. I realize that singing is something that I got to do for people, not you know, in the shower. You want to give something back for yes. people, not for animals. No, not for not for animals. For, for animals too. Okay. For animals, for animals too. too. Dogs, <laughs> puppies. Dogs, puppies, big dogs. Simon everything. loves puppies. Yeah, okay, I what, can are you gonna <laughs> what are you going to sing? Well, since the weather went <laughs> crazy on us, I'm going to sing I Can't Stand the Rain, which All happened right. to be what I sang earlier, too. All right. <clears throat> Where he went to be low, where his head used to lay, mm -hmm. I know you've got some sweet memories, but like the window, you ain't got nothing to say. I can't stand the rain against my window. Mm, bringing back sweet memories. Hey, window pane, do you remember how sweet it used to be? When we were together, <laughs> everything was so grand. Now that we have parted, there's just one sound that I just can't stand. Can't stand the rain. Okay, I can't stand this anymore. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Ooh. All right, Simon, what do you think? Come on. You are not serious. Fookling, you are one of the worst singers I've ever heard in my life. And I'm not exaggerating. That went beyond <laughs> terrific. And for such a smart girl. That was a nightmare. You obviously heard in your own head different than what we heard. Well, how about a different planet? Well, the good thing for you is that God gives us each something. Gave you brains and not a voice. So be happy with that. Can I please sing something be else? Be happy with that. That's good. What is it that I can work on to improve? Nothing. Stop singing. We're not saying this for effect. It's just simply matter of fact now. That was Weird. bloody Weird. awful. Like a different... Like yeah. a language I've never heard on earth. <laughs> Can I just sing one more time? No, 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 it's enough. Simon, yes, no. Please, give me a chance. Yes, well, no, Phil, You've actually given me a headache. It's a no from us. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Stand down, man. <laughs> You look familiar. Nope. Not unless you see me watching you. Hold on one second. Paula said something <laughs> before you came out. So she was. Paula was I, getting over the me, thing. That was a joke. Giggles. You were telling a joke before you came out, Paula. I have the giggles. I'm sorry. Hi. That's fine. How are you? I'm fine. You, you look tremendously different and unique already, which is a great thing. Well, that's kind of what I'm going for. You, you the know? Platinum is one of my favorite albums. Thank you very much. Thank you. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> everywhere up here, man. No flattery needed for that, man. <laughs> all right, what, tell me about yourself. What, what, what is this all about? <laughs> I work at a music store. I play several different instruments. What kind of store? Music. Guitar center? No, a uh, compact disc and uh, DVD store. Oh. That says you've ruined every relationship you've ever had. Why is that? Well, I, it wasn't my own doing. It was just music has ruined every relationship I've ever had. Then that's that's good for writing material. Yeah, I mean, it's good for my music. You know. You've ever yeah. been in a band? Uh, I'm in three right now. Three, three. Wow. three. Yes, I play organ and sing and drums and bass. Not at the same time. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not. Right. <laughs> what are you going to sing, Fred? Uh, well, I was going to start out with "Delilah" by Tom Jones. Right. Wow, that's great. Wow. And then wow. do uh, "I Put a Spell on You" by Screaming Jay Hawkins. I saw the light on the night that I passed by her window. <laughs> I saw the flickering shadows of love on her blinds. She was my woman, and 
And as she deceived me, I watched and went out of my mind. My, 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 Delilah. You're killing me. You have another one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I put a spell on you. <laughs> Sounds the same, same song. Close your mind. Stop the things you do. <laughs> How come the relationships didn't work? Oh, yeah, out? he sang like that. <laughs> you know, you, you've got to say something about your choice of material. Most people would say, uh, <laughs> "I put a spell on you, Creedence Clearwater Revival." You're going back to the original guys, Creedence yeah. Clearwater Revival. And yeah. about to choose another, so Nina Simone. Nina yeah, Simone. Yeah, Nina Simone Love was Nina amazing. Simone. That was Love an amazing Nina version. Simone. Love Nina Simone. Well, that's uh, good. Somebody some please take over. Uh, well, you, you'd be very good in a in a sort of a strange, obscure cabaret club. Thank you. But it wasn't really a compliment. Well, you know? well, wait a minute. I'm glad he said thank you because that's true, though. It's true. You, ever, you should yeah. see some of the dives I play. Wait yeah, but, but that's you. You know, I mean, you're you could be you should be wearing stockings and suspenders. <laughs> but you know, there are people who sing much much worse than you, who are not as exciting. You have a very exciting personality, but it doesn't belong on a big stage. It belongs in you know obscure yeah, small theater. beatnik clubs, the, yeah. the theaters. Uh, well, you stuff. know. Uh, it's like just left to the center. The, the, uh, the reason uh, you don't belong here is not because you're not peculiar. And peculiar, by the way, is a good way to make a living. I'm peculiar, okay? So don't take peculiar as a negative. But the rest of the people come here and they belt it out. They really sing and have range and, you know, sort of melodic. That's not what you've got. But you do have something they don't, which is personality. So and you'll, you'll figure it out. But I'm going to say no. Yeah, it's definitely no, dude. It's, okay. it's not right for this. Uh, definitely. Well, thank you. Hey, Leroy, what's up? Can you do it? <laughs> it's this way, right here, baby. Yeah, come on up. Where you going, dog? I don't know, trying to see the tape. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you introduce us? What's your name? <laughs> okay, my name is Leroy Williams, and uh, I stand blaze the paint for a living at the ship, yo, with my, with my, with my dad. What? <laughs> Man, <baby. laughs> Wait, Leroy, you got, you got to start again. Yeah. I stand blaze the paint. Sam oh. the paint? Yes, sir. What's Sand Blast and oh, Paint what? It's shrimp boat. Sand it's about a battery. You know what about a battery? It, uh, it's a shrimp boat. It's, it's real slow boat. like. <laughs> it's country. And we, we ain't making no money, so y'all need to put me on TV. Can you dig it? We yeah, can yeah, yeah. dig it. But wait a minute, dog, dog. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, come back. But dog, dog. So, so uh, you... I play the drums, the keyboard, anything. I'm a musician, you feel me? You're but musician. see, I got to tell, get y'all crunk so y'all can feel me. Yo, man, but we need to get crunk no, like this. No, I didn't. Look, look, see. Uh, white teeth. White teeth. You got your crunk. Put your crunk here. Look at that. Now, nigga, they hear that crunk. Oh, those aren't your teeth. Oh, he got his crunk down. One, two, three. Hey. Now, can you dig it? And then I'm say, thank you, Jesus. Because you got to put Jesus first. If uh, you don't, you ain't going to do nothing. Tell Simon Kyle he's got to put Jesus first. Simon, you don't put Jesus first. No, Simon's over here. Wait. <laughs> right there. You don't put Jesus first. Something wrong with you. Now, can you dig it? <laughs> Sing some else, question, man. Randy. In America, do you have a button that puts subtitles on? <laughs> this guy needs a subtitle. Yo, dog, but can you sing? I can sing. It's, it's crunk. It's just going to be crunk. You're just going to do that. Wait, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. But sing something. This then. is a singing competition. No song. James Brown, anything. I feel good. I knew that I would. So good. So good. And I got you. Hey! I've got it. Hey, so good. So good. So good. I've got it. You're a stepper, man. You're a stepper. You're a stomper, huh? Yeah, but I'm trying to make you feel what I'm talking about. I feel you, man. We're feeling you, though. Can you dig it? Yes. Yeah, yeah we can dig it, baby. Look at Simon. He's right here with you. 
Tommy, you need to get corn. You need to cut everything, chop, and get corn your bobby here and do that. I, yeah. I, I agree. Can you imagine if Simon had the crunk teeth like that? If Simon yeah, was crunk. Then take my look. Hey, this for the TV, and this for your mommy and daddy. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. I got mine together now. Yeah. <laughs> Dog, it, it, you ain't right for this, man. But listen, we, lo we love you, man. The energy. He's the hype man. I mean, you the all-time hype man, You are bro. so entertaining and energetic and fun. But you know <laughs> this isn't the right competition. But me. see, that's why I'm on TV right now, so y'all gonna put me on. Can I tell you something? You are definitely gonna be on TV. You definitely gonna be on TV, I don't man. See, that's the thing. I wanna be on Hollywood. I go to Hollywood, Jake? I should not be all the same. Leroy, and see, y'all don't want me to go to Hollywood, because y'all know I'm gonna take over. Yeah, you gonna, gonna turn Hollywood off. And you know that. Leroy. So, do what you do. Leroy. It's all good. Planet Earth calling okay. Leroy. <laughs> Leroy, you really can't get a good assessment of what you do until you listen to Simon. Oh. What? The winner of the show gets to go on the Jay Leno show the following day. I'd love to be in their office <laughs> <laughs> planning that interview. I, it's just ridiculous. In a, in a I, good I mean, way. I, di I did in not a understand way, a word you said. It's all good. Let me know what's the deal. Am I in? Am I not? So I can go back home and go to work before my dad. No. Okay, daddy, I respect no, that. No, man. Appreciate you, dog. Thank you. Y'all like to say it for me. Can you dig? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, we can dig it, baby. Can Keep it crunk, baby. Keep crunk in your life. It's going to stay crunk, boy. Don't hear me. OB. They shut it down, say I'm too crunk for him, but I ain't studying no saying. See, that he see him on TV. And see, I got a lot of this fuck. I told him. Time, and we're gonna do a big now. Whoever listening, and y'all let Simon pump me out on TV, and it ain't going down. So, whoever you see me, you know I'm a million dollars, and I'm, I'm gonna have more money than Simon. He know that, cause they hate. Don't hate on the player, hate the game. Now, can you dig? What's up, dude? Aven. Aven. How are you, man? Pretty good. Cool. I'm gonna be singing um, tomorrow the song. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Um, I'm gonna be singing tomorrow by Annie. Uh, um, I dedicate this song to my sister. So here it goes. The sun will come out tomorrow. So you gotta hang on till tomorrow. There'll be sun. Just thinking about Tomorrow clears away the cobwebs and the sorrow till there's none. When I'm separate for a day, there's gray and lonely. I just stick on my chin and grin and say, So you gotta hang on till tomorrow. Come on, man. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, you're only a day. Simon? Where do you start? It was, the only thing I could think of was like, if you combined American Idol with a musical, with a horror movie, 
that's what it was like. It was, it was so bizarrely dreadful, really. Is that a yes or no? No. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, it's hard for me. You put your heart and soul into it. You know what I mean? I, felt, I definitely felt that. Uh, but I don't know about the voice, man. Randy? No. No, no. The time. Paula? Well, you know, I think that you are more suited for stage because for stage, your voice, you can carry your voice to all ends of the hall, down, you know, down the convention yeah, center. With, with, and you could reach that, that many people being on a stage. Yeah, and, and Paula, doing, there won't be any musicals. people in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> that's not they fair to say. No, it's true, there wouldn't be anyone in the audience. Say, but it's Simon, a fact. That's not fair to say. You don't know it's a fact. You may check on him three years from now or five years from now. You may even be paying to see a ticket. In what? In one of the plays that he is hired. To do to be in. Do you, you want know, to do there Broadway are a lot or agents theater? Have to do that. <laughs> your dream is American Idol. Avon, man, this is not for you, man. I'm telling you, dude. Your voice is like, you know, it's no way even near, dude. Do you want to be on stage at all? Yes. Maybe that's something more suited for you. I mean, appreciate you coming out, man. That's that's big of you. You know what I'm saying? Avon, it's a no. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, man. Thanks, Thanks Avon. Thank you. Take care. He went for it, though. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you all today? Good. Danny Parker. Yes, ma'am, it is. How old are you? 24. 24. I barely missed the cutoff date. October well, 21st, August 3rd. You're here, though. Yeah, no. Cool. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I work at North Georgia Premium Outlet Mall in Dawsonville, Georgia. And I basically work all the time, and my pastime is just relieving my daily stress with music and singing to my friends and entertaining my parents. Wow, you've had you've had some rough stuff happen to you. Yes, I have. But you're here. Are you feeling better? Oh yeah. Good. This is for her. I'm really sorry to hear that. Okay. What are you gonna sing? God must have spent a little more time on you. Okay. Can this be true? Tell me, can this be real? How can I put into words what I feel? My life was complete. I thought I was whole. Why do I feel like I'm losing control? I never thought that love could feel like this. And you changed my world with just one kiss. How can it be that right here with me there's a name to Daddy, this is I'm sorry. You shouldn't have come in after the last person. I know. No, because we're still laughing at that one. It wasn't very good. Really? Do another. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> In my own head. Okay, you gonna sing something else? Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Bupin Spicy okay. One. All right, here we go. Crazy, crazy <laughs> for feeling so lonely. I'm crazy, crazy for feeling so blue. I knew you loved me as long as you wanted. Then someday you. You'd leave me for somebody new. I knew. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Danny. It's not you. I'm sorry, Danny. Oh. Oh. oh, you think you did, Danny? As nervous as I am, probably horrible. Oh, uh, really. you were right. You were very good. Oh. All right, Danny. <laughs> Is this your first audition? It's my first audition since eighth grade. Oh. Oh, you picked a big one, man. How, do you watch the show? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, so um, how do you think Ruben and Clay are as singers? I love Ruben and Clay. You do? Yes, I do. Did you, did you, uh, I can't do that. <laughs> Go oh, right ahead, Paula, Aunt. Come I on, can't, girl. You know what? Ask I, it. No. I can't, I can't do that because. Please um, ask it. I want the truth out of you. I know right. the best of me. Let's wrap this up. Randy, yes or no? Uh, no. Paula? 
Not good enough. I'm sorry, Danny. Yeah, it's just we look. We're looking for the best uh, singer out there. I understand. Great talent. I'm sorry, Danny. Not there. But, but you're brave and thank bold. You. Yeah. you like that. Yeah, so nice it's, to meet you. It's nice a pleasure meeting you. Meet thank you. Thank, thank you for coming down. Pleasure. Uh, thank you. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. And you're the most best producer in the world. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, man. You're a nice guy. Oh, I need it. Oh, I need it. That's, that's oh. nice. I needed that. Nice. Hey, he deserves some respect. He's putting a lot of money on wine and a lot of nerves. You're a good that's kid. Right, because you know yeah. what? You're a good kid. Thank, Thank you. you. I really appreciate it. All right, take I'm care of yourself. Thank you, Danny. Bye, Thank Thank you. Bye, Danny. Nice Bye. to meet you. Thanks, Nigel. the date went. They're trying to tell me that uh, I'm not good show. and that is such a bull. Oh, sorry. So are you going to uh, have a change of heart? Huh? Mm, that's different. No, no, no. What happened? They're doing that. They know exactly what's going on. I know the game. And they loved me. They, they did. They did love you. I think they did. That family emergency was right here on national television. Mm. And you see that I'm the next American Idol. Subsa! All, right. All right, well. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Here, let me give you a mint. <laughs> Hey. hey. Oh, no. Oh, Jeez, no. girl. Hey. What's up? I don't know if I made it or not, because they didn't say come to Hollywood. Well, that means but I, think, the that, thing I is, think that's a prerequisite. I'm so good, to... though. Yeah, yeah, we know. We know. Oh, we know. Hey, just... She's... 
Are you going? Is she sending her in? Hello? Do you have a twin? Hi. <laughs> I'm Stephanie, <laughs> number two. Um, I was just curious if I could make it, if I'm coming to Hollywood, because I, I think I have what it takes, and um, I think you, if you can really consider me. We said no. We said no. Well, why? Because you're not good enough. Because you're not good enough. You're not a good singer at all. And you're missing out now. Because I'm going to make you, I'm going to make someone a fortune. I, I don't understand what was the implication of that. Because I just have so much confidence in myself that I really thought I made it. And for you guys to just sit there and not do anything about it, whenever I'm here. And that really, that actually, that does hurt. Because honestly, I am so good. I am. Stephanie, there's so many people. No, I understand. Stephanie, you're not even close. Not even close. And that's so sad to say because I have talent. I've always been told that. And I you just don't think your talent is in singing. Okay, that's your, that's your, I mean, look at the people out there. But that's okay. That's I mean, what we're looking at. We're looking at the yeah, people no, out there. I'm right here. Yeah, there's other people waiting outside. I think you, you're taking up our time now. That means nothing to me. I'm right here. I'm, see, well, the means a lot to me. It means a lot to the people outside. I know, it means and you know, a lot to those are awesome house. people out there, and I'm glad that I well, hope that at them least come in. Let's let them come in. Let's let them come in. Let's let them come in. Okay, but I'm saying, here's this is interesting. I'm finding this really interesting. You know, I run auditions all the time. And I've never, am I all? It's very disrespectful. Am I all? I, d I just met Dirk uh, on, I believe, Monday, and he's a really good guy, and I think he's going to make it, and I think it'd be really cool if I was at the finale with him. And I am the next American Idol because I can appeal to America. I can appeal to the audience, and I'm a really good singer. I have really one of the coolest personalities you'll ever meet. If you ever find out about Adam, you'll always find out that, you know, Adam's a really cool person to be with. Yeah, I had to agree with Adam. He, he is a totally cool guy. I met him on Monday, and, you know, I'm known as the comedian, and I, I like putting smiles on people's faces, and he's one of the people I like putting smiles on. I think the judges will see an awesome performance by me. You know, I have the little voice going, a little hand movement, and maybe a little movement also with my legs. I first say, Dirk, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Good luck. Don't get too nervous. Concentrate hard. And don't be the next William Hung. Yo, dog, Randy, what's up? Dirk, what's up, baby? Not much. Hey, Paul. How are you, honey? That's fine. Hey, Simon. How, How you, you doing? How you doing, okay? Yes, I am. It says here that you're obsessed with Baywatch. Yes, I am. What are you obsessed about? Um, David Hasselhoff. He's a good singer, and I chose a song from um, the soundtrack. Right. Okay, what are you going to sing? Um, Current of Love by David Hasselhoff. Okay. Like a ship it tossed out of the ocean, we get caught up swimming in the motion. Hearts were sailing, lovers on the right track. Got out so far that they can't we we can't get back. You got to reach out, take hold of my hand. You got to reach out till you're safe on the land. You gotta hold on, baby, never give up. You gotta reach out for when you're caught in the current of love. Uh, okay, man. Okay, <laughs> yo, man. I want to ask you a question and look me in the eyes. Was that a serious audition? I put 100% in everything I do, Simon. Nobody chooses that song seriously <laughs> to sing <laughs> on American Idol. Come on. He actually sounded almost as good as David Hasselhoff. Thank you, Randy. All uh, right, yeah. It's a no. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, See you later, man. God almighty. I tried. They said I can't do a tune good, but hey, that's OK. I'll be back next year. If you guys come back next year, I'll be back. I guarantee it. Do your thing. Put the stuff together. Get crunk. 
Adam Pratt, come on in, man. Hey, guys, what's going down, dog? What's up, baby? What's going down with you? Stand up here right on the tee, man. 20 years old from Hoffman Estate. I just turned 21 Tuesday. Oh, And I have had the best 21st birthday ever. Yeah. I do the best Simon Cowell impression. I'll do it. That was absolutely the worst performance ever. There's nothing special about you at all. Simon, what do you say, man? Oh, wonderful. And Paula, you were my first musical memory of a female artist back when I was six years old with Opposites Attract with the, was it the Bobcat or the Fox? No, uh, no. It was a cat. A cat. Whatever. So I, I'm ready, guys. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm ready. It obviously had a lasting memory, That was Adam. funny, dude. That was funny. I, I'm here because if I run American Idol, America will watch. On what grounds? because of my personality and my singing ability. Hmm. Right, well, you failed on one count. Let's try the second. What are you going to sing? Uh, this I Promise You by Richard Marks, but performed by NSYNC. OK, go for it. When the vision's around you, brings tears to your eyes, and all that surrounds you are secrets and lies. I'll be your strength. I'll give you hope, keeping your faith when it's gone. The one you should call was standing here all along. Dog, man, I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, <laughs> man. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> Simon, what do you think? Tell me, Adam, just in case I'm losing the plot here, why would America watch if you're on American Idol? Because of my singing ability, I... I <laughs> not, no, ba really. Based Seriously? on that, no. Seriously. Come on. Can I do another song? No. No. So, do I finish the song, or...? No. <laughs> no. OK. And I think it'd be really cool if I was at the finale with them. Say hello to Adam and Dirk, ladies and gentlemen. There they are. Hey, guys. <laughs> and Dirk, we can make your dream come true as well here at American Idol. There is an empty seat beside you, but can we fill that seat, ladies and gentlemen? Can we fill that? Okay, sir. Have a seat. <laughs> few minutes. We see hundreds of auditions over the course of an American Idol season, and inevitably, many contestants choose to perform the same songs. I personally love the classic Proud Mary, but sadly, these auditioners would not make Mary proud. I have to think of the song. It's not coming to me. Okay. Proud Mary. Left a good job in the city. Okay. Left a good job in the city. Working for the man every night and day. Never lost a nun. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Never did I lose one minute of sleep. Cause I was worried about the way things might have been. Big wheels keep on turning. Ooh, found that we keep on burning. And we're rolling. 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 Rolling on a river. Rolling, 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 rolling. Rolling on a river. Rolling on the river. A do 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 And she's rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. I don't like music anymore. Washington, D.C. is an amazing place. It's the heart of our democracy, filled with landmarks and history. It really brings the song America the Beautiful alive 
Here are some contestants from our Washington auditions who bring a whole different meaning to the word beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. For spacious skies, for on amber waves of green, for amber waves of green, for purple mountains, majesty. From fruit, yeah, yeah, above the fruited, 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 fruited. Okay, we can't get out of that bed, didn't work out well, didn't it? <laughs> that didn't work out well at all, did it? <laughs> Um, um, okay, that didn't work out either. Great, I'll just shut up now. <laughs> the first part was good, though. The second part wasn't good at all. <laughs> okay, great. But the first part was wonderful. It was on point. <laughs> okay, you want me to continue, or should I just keep embarrassing myself even further? Okay. Y'all shed his grace on thee And crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to Shining sea, from sea to shining sea, America! There's no place like Hollywood. <laughs> oh my god, Becky. Look at her butt. It is like so big. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other suckers can deny. When a girl walk in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Swing! Yeah! Holla! Hey, 
I ain't down with dancing. To hell with romancing. She's sweat, wet. Got me moving like a turbo vent. Room, room. I'm tired of magazines. Same flat butts is the thing. Take the average black man and ask him this. I said she got to pack much to her. So, fellas, yeah, fellas. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> what is my number? Number one, baby. How about an introduction? What? Started off and sent Senate playing a song on two. But when all my kids got early, I didn't know what to do. I tried country rock and even blues. Then I drive my 501 blues. <laughs> Any questions? about her performance is she's real. I know, it's so she quiet. She gives so much. Rolling, rolling on the river. Rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Baby got back. Words to your mother. Now here are some people you definitely don't want to find Christmas caroling on your doorstep during the holidays. Silent night, I said a silent night, holy night, all is calm, I said all is bright, round, round young virgin, Mother and mother and child, holy infant, so tender and mild. Why don't you sleep in heavenly peace? Why don't you sleep in heavenly, heavenly peace? Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, over the hill we go. Dashing all the way, ha ha ha, dashing all the way. <laughs> Making spirit ride, what fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride one horse open sleigh. Say <laughs> you <laughs> ready. Go on, boy. Silent night. Oh. Yeah. 
the night so brightly shining this is the night of our dear Savior's birth long came the world and sin and ever pining till he appeared and a soul felt its worth a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn fall on your knees and hear the angel voices o night divine o night O oh, night divine, silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, I've been doing stunts for almost 50 years. It's all I really know, outside of being a mom and a grandma. Hey, hey. People constantly ask me, aren't you getting about ready to retire? I feel great. Somebody with the experience of Jeannie, she certainly qualifies to be one of the great stunt coordinators. I want to give back what I have inside of me. I'm going to give it one last shot, or maybe two. I didn't plan to be a stunt woman. In fact, I didn't know you could be a stunt woman in New Zealand. Xena is half Zoe. <laughs> I hate to tell you people that. The only problem is Xena dies this season. And when Xena dies, I'll be unemployed. You've reached Charlie's Angels too. This is Jeannie Amper calling. I could use some work if you have anything on your show. My mum, my dad, and my brother, and my best friends leaving New Zealand to pursue my career totally excites me, but it also freaks me out because they won't be coming. Zoe! <laughs> How are 
you. I'm so excited. I know. They're going to work you hard tomorrow. Put your height and weight. It's about 145. Put yourself at 130. Trust what? me. Yes. Because the actresses all lie. Beautiful. She has more talent than I've seen come around in a long time. She's going to go far if she doesn't get hurt. This seems like the beginning of the rest of my life as an adult. I always thought that sounded boring, but I guess you don't have to be boring to be an adult. <laughs> Pinky swear double dare. Pinky swear double dare. Pinky swear double dare. Hi, I'm Quentin. I'm Zoe. Hi, nice to meet you, Zoe. How you doing? It's this big or what? It's just so big.